Hi and welcome to Code Tutorials. Today we'll be talking about creating accordions and toggles using the accordions and toggles widgets from our key add-ons for Elementor plugin. At the moment we're on the widgets page where we can see some examples of its use. These examples are clickable so they provide an accurate preview and demo of the things you can make with this widget. From the examples, you can also see that the Accordions and Toggles widget includes all kinds of customization and stylization options. Those include different fonts as well as numerous other typography options that will help you customize the widget so it matches your site design. Additionally, you can pick text and background colors, choose your opening and closing icons, add borders, and more. So let's see how the Accordions and Toggles widget from the key add-ons for Elementor plugin is used. Head over to the back end, and in the Elementor sidebar, search for Accordions and Toggles. There it is. Drag it over to the right. By default, the widget looks like this. It has two items, both with some placeholder content. And when you click on one, the other one closes. This is the Accordion behavior. If we switch this to Toggle, I still have my two items, but when I open Title 1 and click on Title 2, it also opens. So with toggle behavior, I can keep all my items open at the same time. The settings for both accordions and toggles are the same, so I'll switch back to the accordion behavior and use it to take you through the options. The option underneath this one is Style. It's set to standard by default, but you can switch that to boxed and get this look. Each item would have an underline, or you can switch it to border top. Now, this looks just like the previous one, but if I click so the blue frame vanishes, we can see this style includes only a border above each item. Okay, then the border between. We get the border between the item titles. Now, for my example, I'll set border top. There it is. Next, we have the Open Icon and Close Icon fields, where we can choose an icon or upload an SVG. That's what I'll do. Let me remove this and click to upload. This is what I'll be using. Insert. And now I'll replace the other one as well. And, whoops, if you click on the field in general, it opens the icon library. Since that's not what I wanted, I'll close this. And now I'll be sure to click more carefully and I'll use this icon. OK. Insert. And right away we can see the new icons are here, and they automatically switch when I click on them, which they should. Following this, we have the item settings. We have two items, that's by default. I'll add a new one by clicking here. And now I have three items for my accordion. Since that's done, I can start replacing the content for all of them. For starters, you can replace the title using the title field. I'll just use the text from one of the examples on the widgets page, and this will make my accordion look like an FAQ section. OK, this is where you can replace the text content. And we can see there are all kinds of settings here that would allow me to change the look of my text if I wanted to. And there's the text mode for anyone who wants to add code to the text or use CSS to style it. But I'll use the visual mode to add my text content. And I'm going to do that because I don't want to have any pseudo Latin in my accordion, even though I'm just making it as a demo for this tutorial. OK, here's my new text, and I can move on to the next item and customize its title and text. I'll just speed through with the video, though, because I also have a third item waiting after this, and I need to customize that as well, and there's no reason for you to have to watch me typing away for ages. All right. All my content is ready now, and the accordion elements make more sense with understandable text and titles, so everything is here. Now, the last set of options in the Content tab are Developer Tools. When we open them, we can see there's just one option here, and we can switch its setting to Yes and get it to display the widget in the form of a standard WordPress shortcode, this text, that we can easily copy for use elsewhere on our site. All right. I'll put this back and we can move on to the Style tab and see what we have in there. The first option lets us adjust the title tag. It's H3 by default, but I'll change mine to H5. There we go. Then we have the Title Typography options. These let us change the font family for the title. You can scroll through this list or search for the font if you know its name. 
Then the size option lets us adjust the font size. I'll set 21 pixels for mine. Then we can change our title weight. You can use one of these numerical values to fine tune the weight or set it to bold, anything you like. I'll leave mine on default. With the text transform, we can make our title uppercase, lowercase, capitalized, or normal, which is the same as our default. And under style, we can make our title normal, which is the same as default, or turn it italic or oblique. I'll put mine back to default. Following that, the decoration lets us add an underline, an overline, a line through, or we can use none of these, which is our default setting. Then the line height option. If I move this, it creates more space around the title. The default value is in M's, but you can change that to pixels. Finally, we have the letter spacing option that can give us more space between the letters. Alright, that's it for the typography options. After them, we have these settings, normal and active. Active lets us style the look of an accordion item when it's opened like this, meaning it's active. Normal lets us style the look of all the other non-active accordion items. And the settings we get can change when we switch from one to the other. So under normal we have title color. We can use it to change the color of our item titles. You can use the slider or add a hex code, which is what I'll do. There. You can see that my active item title changed its color along with all the rest. That's because there isn't anything set in the active settings that would make it different. Alright, next we have the title background color. It lets us do this. I won't be using it for my accordion. After this we have the title padding. If we increase the values here, we can see how the space around the titles increases evenly. If you want to have different values on different sides, you can click here to delink the fields and reset all the values. Then you can add the specific amounts you like for each side, like so. Now let's see what we have under the active settings. If you take a closer look at these settings, you can see they are the same as the ones under normal, only these will apply solely to the active or opened accordion item. So, the title active color would change only this title here. However, I won't change anything because I want all my item titles to look the same at all times, whether they're open or not. And the same goes for the title background active color. Any change would apply only to your active accordion item. Since I don't want mine to differ, I'll leave this out. Finally, we can set different paddings under the title active padding. And I'll use this to make slightly different settings than I have for the normal unopened items. Ok, there. Now, while we're in this section, I wanted to show you an effect you can create with these options. There's an example of this effect on the widgets page. Let me show you what I mean. Just a sec, it's this one. When you open an item, it changes its color. And there's a combination of options you'd use to create it, so let me show you what those are. Right now we have an accordion that has the same normal and active background color. What we want to do is differentiate them. I'll start by adding a title background color for the normal view. There we go. And then I'll copy this hex code so I can put the same shade for my content background color. Paste, ok. Below this, we have the content active background color. I'll make this one a more intense shade of blue. So when an item is open, it will pop more than the unopened normal items. Alright, I'll copy this too. Now that I set the active background color for my content, I want to do the same for my title. So let's open the active settings. And paste the hex code for our title background active color. There it is. And now, when you click on any of the items, their color changes depending on whether they're normal or active. So, this is just one of the possible combinations of settings you can use to make your accordions and toggles. However, since this effect doesn't really fit in with the design I'm going for, I'll revert the options to their original values. Give me a moment to undo all the color settings I just made. Give me a moment to undo all the color settings I just made. Okay. Now, when I was showing you all this, I skipped an option, and that's this, the content color. 
So this is for setting the text color for our items and you have this standard color picker. I want to keep my text black so I'll just move on. After this we have the content padding option. We can increase the values evenly and create more space around the text. Or we can delink them to make specific adjustments. This is what I want to do and I'll set different values for each side. The first can stay 0 but I'll put 30 pixels on the right, 33 at the bottom and leave 0 on the left. So I set my text and title to fall in the same line on the right and gave my text a bit more space before the items below it. Ok, all my items are neat and looking good. Next we have the border color option. This will let you change the color of these lines between the items. So you can set any color you like. I'll add a hex code to make mine a light grey. Below that we have the icon size option. If you look at the accordion you can see how the icons grow larger when I drag the slider to increase the value. I don't want to overdo it so I'll set my icon size to be 26 pixels. There. And finally we have another set of settings with a switch. There's normal and hover. Both will help us adjust the icon color. Right now when I move over the icons you can see that there are no changes that occur on hover. If you'd like the color to change when you hover over an icon you can set a different color here. I'm going to set the hex code for a slightly paler shade of orange. There. Now the icon seems to fade a bit when I hover over it. And that's it for our options. The last settings tab, advanced, has several useful options for positioning, responsiveness, entrance animations and more, but since it's available for all Elementor widgets and not unique to our accordions and toggles widget, we won't be covering it in this tutorial. Alright, I'll update now so my work is saved. And as I go through the accordion now, we can see everything works the way I set it. The title and text colors are there, the icon changes its shade on hover, the paddings and alignment are the way I wanted them. Perfect. Now, all this is accordion behavior. Let me show you how all this would look with toggle behavior. If I switch this here and then go to click on the items, there. All of them get to stay open and all the customization and stylization settings I made are there. So it's never too late to change your mind about the settings you made at the start. Let me put this back now. If we look back at the widgets page, we can see the different examples of its use. After watching this tutorial, you should be able to make any of these. The options we covered will help you either mirror what you see here or create something unique. Whichever direction you decide to go in is completely up to you. Here for example is the version we looked at briefly with the color change. And we have other examples besides that one. Some are showcasing different layouts and some different typography choices. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you to see how easy making accordions and toggles can be with the key add-ons for Elementor plugin and its accordions and toggles widget. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please drop us a line in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and be the first to learn about new theme guides and tutorials. Thanks for watching!